The Sentences of Sextus Narrated by Matthew Schmitz Using too many words is a sign of ignorance. Love truth and treat falsehood like poison. Let the right moment come before your words. Speak when you should not remain silent, and then, when it is appropriate, speak of what you know. An inopportune word exposes an evil heart. When you should act, don't say a word. Do not be inclined to speak first when in the company of a group of people. It is a skill to speak and also a skill to remain silent. It is better for you to be overcome speaking the truth than to overcome through deceit. One who overcomes through deceit is overcome by truth. False words expose evil people. Only in a great crisis is a lie necessary. There are times when you sin by telling the truth, and you do not sin when you tell a lie. Do not deceive anyone, especially someone who needs advice. If you wait to speak after many other people speak, you will see more clearly what is profitable. That person is faithful who takes the lead in all that is good. Wisdom guides the soul to the place of God. There is no one of the household of truth except wisdom. A believing nature cannot be enamored of lying. A fearful and enslaved nature cannot share in faith. When you are faithful, saying what is right is no greater than listening. When you are with believers, be more inclined to listen than to speak. A hedonist is good for nothing. Only if you have no sin may you speak of whatever is from God. The sins of the ignorant are the shame of their teachers. Those because of whom God's name is blasphemed are dead in the sight of God. A wise person is one who does what is good after God. Let your life confirm your words before those who hear. Do not even think of doing what you should not do. Do not do what you do not want to happen to you. What is shameful to do is also shameful. A wise person stands up for God before others, and God thinks more of a wise person than God's own works. After God, no one is as free as a wise person. Everything God has, a wise person has. A wise person shares in God's kingdom. An evil person does not want God's providence to come to pass. An evil soul flees from God. Everything bad is God's foe. Say in your heart that what is within you that thinks is what is human. Where your thought is, your goodness is. 
do not seek goodness in flesh. What does not harm the soul does not harm humankind. After God, honor a wise person, since this one is a servant of God. To consider the body of your soul to be a burden is prideful, but to be able to dismiss it gently when necessary is blessed. Do not cause your own death. Do not get mad at someone who will snatch you from the body and kill you. If someone takes a wise person from the body in a violent way, that one actually does something good for the person, for this person has been liberated from bonds. Fear of death causes a person grief because of the ignorance of the soul. It would have been better for you if the sword that kills people had never come into existence, but when it is there, say in your heart that it does not exist. Someone who says, I believe, and spends a great deal of time faking it, will not endure, but will fall. As your heart is, so your life will be. A godly heart gives rise to a blessed life. A person who plots evil against another is also the first one to taste evil. Don't let an ungrateful person make you stop doing good. Do not say in your heart that what someone asked for and you immediately gave is worth more than the person who received it. You will manage great wealth if you give willingly to those in need. Persuade a foolish brother not to be foolish. If he is demented, take care of him. Try hard to overcome everyone in mindfulness. Be self-sufficient. You cannot acquire understanding unless you first know you do not have it. On every matter there is also this word. The limbs of the body are burdensome to those who do not use them. It is better to serve others than to make others serve you. Let someone whom God will not take from the body not take on personal burdens. Do not hold any opinion that does not help the needy, and do not listen either. A person who gives with partiality acts arrogantly and sins. If you care for orphans, you will be parent of many children and God's loved one. One whom you serve for honor, you have served for a reward. If you give with the idea of honoring yourself, you have given not for humankind, but for your own gratification. Do not make a crowd of people angry. Know what a rich person should do. It is better to die than to bring darkness upon the soul because of gluttony. Say in your heart that the body is the garment of your soul. Keep it pure, since it is innocent. Whatever the soul does in the body, she has as evidence when she goes to judgment. Unclean demons lay claim to a corrupt soul. Evil demons cannot stop a faithful and good soul from walking in the way of God. Do not offer the word of God to everyone. It is not reassuring for those corrupted by glory to hear about God. It is not a small risk for us to speak the truth about God. Do not say anything about God until you have learned from God. Do not speak with the godless about God. If you are defiled because of dirty deeds, do not speak about God. A true word about God is the word of God. 
say a word about God as if you are saying it in God's presence. If your heart first is convinced that you love God, then speak to anyone you wish about God. Let your deeds of love for God come before all your words about God. Do not be inclined to speak with a crowd of people about God. Be more reserved with a word about God than with a word about the soul. It is better to give up a soul than to throw out a word about God flippantly. You conceive the body but cannot dominate the speech of a godly person. As the lion rules over the body of a wise person, so also the tyrant rules only over the body. If a tyrant threatens you, especially at that time, remember God. A person who speaks the word of God to those who should not hear it betrays God. It is better for you to remain silent about the word of God than to speak thoughtlessly. Someone who tells lies about God lies to God. A person who has nothing truthful to say about God is abandoned by God. You cannot know God if you do not worship Him. A person who harms someone cannot worship God. The love of humankind is the beginning of godliness. A person who cares for people and prays for them all is the truth of God. It is for God to save whom He wishes, but it is for the godly to pray that God may save everyone. When you pray for something and it comes to pass for you through God, then say in your heart that you can accomplish things with God. A person worthy of God is God among people. There is God and the child of God. The one is great, the other is next to the great. It is better for a person to have nothing than to have much but give nothing to the needy. And you too, if you beg God, will get nothing from him. If with all your heart you give your bread to the hungry, the gift is small, but the goodwill is great with God. Someone who thinks that nothing is in God's presence is no less than a godless person. Someone who conforms his heart to God as much as is possible honors God greatly. God is not in need of anything, but he rejoices over those who give to the needy. The words of the faithful are few, but their deeds are many. A faithful person who loves learning is a doer of truth. Adjust yourself to the circumstances of life in order that you may not be distressed. If you harm no one, you will fear no one. A tyrant cannot take away true wealth. Do what is right to do, willingly. Do not do what is not right to do, or anything of the kind. Promise anything rather than saying, I am wise. Say in your heart that whatever you do well, God does. No person who looks to the earth and to earthly tables is wise. You should not honor a philosopher who is only a body on the outside, but rather honor a philosopher in accordance with the person within. Keep yourself from lying. There is one who deceives and one who is deceived. Understand who God is and understand who thinks within you. A good person is God's good work. 
How miserable are those because of whom the word is blasphemed. It is not death that destroys the soul, but rather an evil life.